So I'm going to try to keep this short and simple for the Bassmaster Elites here on Palatka. The Bassmaster Elites hit Palatka tomorrow, and I thought I'd give you some helpful hints for your fantasy fishing. If you can do me a favor, if you like this kind of content, click that like and subscribe button. Welcome to the team. Now I used to do a fantasy fishing video several days before and I just got out of it because it's a lot of work. I personally am a statistical person so I like to look, go back, see how people did and then that would be the way I picked anglers and while sometimes it worked there are a lot of times it doesn't work because sometimes people get hot and do other things but there's some things on Palatka or in Palatka that might help you be success, be more successful in your picks for fantasy fishing. Now I've had two or three great experiences covering Palatka. Uh, back in 2016 was the first time I did it with Rick when Rick Clun won. I also watched Rick Clun win in 2019 with the biggest bag of fish I'd ever seen in my life at that time. I don't even remember what the total weight was. He had five fish on the final day that probably went 34, 35, 36. It was unbelievable. And Rick is very good up there in Palatka. And while I walked in the day of 2019, I walked in with a Toyota girl that was doing some Thing and I had a media badge at the time and she said well who are you and I said oh I do a radio show called Fishing Florida Radio and she I asked her what do you do and she said oh I'm a model for Toyota and I said what do you live here and she said yes and she had said I said what do you do here in Palatka she said there's only two things to do fishing and bow chicka bow bow I won't say the word and it's something that's stuck in my head that I've laughed about for years but fishing is very big in Palatka they are going to have massive crowds at the, the weigh-in they'll have two three four thousand people this week and every day because the people from Palaka love bass fishing and they love bass and it is an experience that is second to none it is other than the classic it's the most people I've ever seen in a way and Palaka is going to be really hot the evenings are going to be the low 60s and then the, during the day it's going to be low 90s maybe middle 90s fishing is post 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 spawn but there's one thing that is going to happen or is starting to happen as these guys are fishing usually in December or in January we have a shad spawn that goes all the way down to Harney and goes to Puzzle and into down past 50 or what we call Colonial. And those shad spawn are going to move their way back up into Jacksonville and out. And those little tiny shad are going to be pushing their way through. Middle of April is arguably one of the best times to go fish Puzzle and, and Harney because there's so many shad rushing back north that the fishing is really good and the sunshine bass and stripers and largemouth are just gorging themselves early in the morning. Morning. Now that's an early morning bike. So those guys that get out there to their spots, have deeper areas, are going to probably catch them using minnows and light, really light tackle stuff. But that shad spawn will have a little bit of effect only in the morning. When I start going through all the groups, there's a lot of people in different groups that are really, you really have to look at. Like in group A, Jordan Lee, Trey McKinney, Patrick Walters, the Johnston brothers. I think those are the four or five guys that you need to probably have in your lineup. For me, I'm taking Patrick Walters only because he has just been consistently good in Palatka. And by that, I mean second, fourth. There's a bunch of stuff he's done. The weather really probably changed the way he wanted to fish. He's going to have really good weather. And I think Patrick Walters is probably one of the best anglers out there. And I, he usually fishes Palatka really good. So that would be my suggestion for Group A. In Group B, you have Brandon Card, Ito, Lester, Milliken, and Prosnick. Now, all four of those guys, four of those five guys, are probably going to do pretty well. Brandon Card always does really well. Taku Ito does really well well down here. Brandon Lester, I don't even know where his home place is, but he should be a Floridian. He is that good in Florida. And Milliken. In that area, in Group B, I'm taking Brandon Lester every time. I took Brandon Lester in the Harris chain. I'm taking him in this category too. Group C is one of those things. Kyle Welcher and John Cox. Now, John Cox lives in DeBerry and Palatka is probably an hour and a half, two hours north of DeBerry. John Cox is going to be the favorite here, but Kyle Welcher is really a great fisherman in Palatka. Palatka too. I remember meeting him several years ago when he was a rookie on his first thing and he had a great day, had a giant bass. Now the fishing isn't going to be giant spawning fish. They usually go in February. Here it is the middle of April and they're going two months further behind where they normally do. So the fishing is going to be different, but John Cox is definitely the pick there. He just knows everything that's going to happen on the St. John's right now. He has fished it for years. It's his, you don't, I don't want to say it's his home pond or home lake because he's still a little bit further south and what it is, but he just knows everything that's going on on, on the St. John's right now. In Group D, you have Brandon Palahniuk, who isn't off to a very good job, a very good start, Mark Menendez, and Iconelli. Iconelli has had some, some good tournament fishings in here 
tournament finishes in here. Mark Menendez is always pretty good here too. And Brandon Palahniuk is just, just having a bad start to the year. It's surprising for me to say this, but I'm actually would take, I think I would take either Palahniuk or Menendez. And Menendez might have a slight gap over Palahniuk. And in the final group, D, which I think was the hardest one, you have Cruz, Klun, Schultz, Martin, and Cliff Prince, who's a local. Now, all those guys have past experiences where Klun is just really great. However, I think I take John Cruz here. He's off to a bad start. This is someplace he fishes really well, and I think he'll be able to handle the back-to-back -back weekends. So in Group E, my suggestion is John Cruz. So tell me what you think. Tell me what your five guys for fantasy fishing is in the comments below. I want to hear it. Let's see how we do. I hope you have a great day. Remember, take a kid fishing. Get your fish on. Thanks for hitting that like and subscribe button. We'll talk to you soon. Cheers.